and here is the final render and before we go into all the lights and look at them individually I want to cover what's going on here first of all back to our initial session in this training and that's about the story and you remember I said that the story drives the lighting so let's say the story is abandoned that's our story and the emotions coming out of that sad isolated and it's very important that you understand now what we're trying to do here with all the lights the first thing we can see is that we have a pretty intense light going on here which is warm in color okay we have an orange color for that and because orange is a warm color do you see how it stands out compared to all the other blue lights in this image it's the single orange light source in this render so that's why it stands out so well now I carefully did color the rest of the lights blue to make that sad, lonely, isolated, blue is a cold color. Also I carefully placed, made some distance between our lady and the light because again I could have chosen to place her closer, I could have chosen to make this light illuminate more of our lady but I did not. And here's why. I wanted that distance to enhance the loneliness. Okay, so there is some kind of comfort or warmth in there, something on her mind maybe, but there is a distance and therefore a disconnection between those two. So I did that on purpose. All right, do you now see how important the story is? Because it, it drives all lighting in your scene. I mean, just every single light. It's all connected back to the story.